for your family's comfort. Brought to you by Rood and Modern Heating and Plumbing. Hi, welcome to For Your Family's Comfort, brought to you by Modern Heating and Plumbing and Rood Heating and Air Conditioning. Uh, today we're going to talk about keeping cool. Keeping cool and keeping the air clean at the mm -hmm. same time. Yep. Um, everyone knows what the EPA is. Right, the Environmental Protection Agency. Yep. And they come down with all kind of rules and regulations. And I think in somewhere in the 1990s, they wrote the Clean Air Act. That's right. And in our industry, the way that started, actually with the refrigeration business, and years ago, there was a phase out of a refrigerant called R12 that was used in automotive air conditioning and also mm -hmm. in commercial cooling, walk-in coolers and mm -hmm. freezers. And that's all gone now because that was very harmful to the atmosphere. Yeah. It had a lot of chlorines and Destroying ozone the depletion ozone. chemicals mm -hmm. in it. And, and then, that's all gone now. And then R22 is the next one that folks may know something about. Right, and R22 is the refrigerant that uh, is most commonly used in uh, not only household but commercial air conditioning systems. Is that what's in like uh, freezers and stuff too? No, nope, like that's, no, that's, that's something, a different. Something else. R22 is used in, in air conditioning systems, mm -hmm. uh, in our homes and in our business. Okay. It's primarily air conditioning systems. And that's they've right. started to phase that out as well. That's right. There again, because of the chemical makeup of R22, it has some chlorine in mm -hmm. it, and chlorine is what is uh, eating up the, the ozone layer, layer and causing mm -hmm. this global warming where, that yep. you hear, everybody's heard so yep. much about. Well, and I know our technicians, like in the early 2000s, had to get certified to even handle any of this refrigerant, and that's, that's very right. important for people to know. That's they need right. to have certified people on their property. Right, and the reason that's important is because most uh, air, residential air conditioners still at this point in time have the R22 mm -hmm. refrigerant in it. And years and years ago, if there was a repair made or if there was a leak, it wasn't a big deal. just shoot it into the just air. Just let it go. But now <laughs> yeah. we have to recover. When we do a repair, we actually yep. suck out all that old so refrigerant doesn't. and we contain it. And we replace uh, uh, our new equipment now with equipment that uses R410A. And even the R22 equipment's going to go away like in 2010, right? That's right. In 2010, manufacturers can no longer manufacture Make equipment it. that uses the R22. And we've already, at Modern Heating and Plumbing, have been promoting equipment that uses the new refrigerant, the R410A, for several years now. We haven't installed a new piece of R22 equipment for a couple of years. But, but contractors can continue to sell it as long as it's on, as available. As long as it's available, that's right. Yep. So when you're replacing your cooling systems um, this spring and summer, um, at least ask about 410A and really look toward replacing your, your new equipment with equipment that uses R410A. That's right. So it doesn't make sense to keep on repairing with the old stuff that's going to be outdated in just a couple of years here. Yeah. So uh, we're encouraging all our customers mm -hmm. to know the, use the new equipment with the new refrigerant so that we can save our uh, atmosphere and our environment yeah. and be as earth friendly as we can. Yep. Remember, we're here for your family's comfort and we'll see you next week. Thanks for joining us.